Hello there, Will. It's a lovely day, Will. Mm. Hi, Will. We were calling you. Why didn't you stop? Eh? Oh, I'm a bit busy. Sorry. Are you looking for something? Biscuits? To go in your biscuit tin? I'm looking for the perfect spot to put my time capsule. What's a time capsule? I'm going to fill this tin with things and bury it really deep in the ground. Great! Why? So people will find it a long, long time in the future. But first I've got to find the right place to put it. You could ask Oakley. He knows more about the garden than anyone. Oh, thanks, Rosie. This is fascinating. A time capsule. I need a nice, quiet spot to bury it. Do you know anywhere, Oakley? Here. Right here. Um, we would need to dig a hole. And it might tickle your roots. I don't mind. Among my roots is the perfect place for a time capsule. It just feels right somehow. <laughs> oh, yay! Thanks! <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, crisis! <laughs> if Manny comes, you haven't seen me. What's this about a time capsule? What things will you put in it, Will? Mm, I'm not sure yet, but there'll be interesting things, important things. Can we put things in it too? Yes, I suppose so. Come on, let's find something. Ooh, I've got lots of interesting things. I want to put in this picture I painted. There's me and there's Raggles. I'm putting in my turbo racing car. <laughs> what about you, Raggles? Um, my second best kite. My frying pan. I've made many a tasty pancake with this. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, as long as that's the last thing. This was my first violin. Can I put it in the time capsule, please? Um, that might be a problem. Brrr. People of the future shall know of Bluebird, finest nest builder ever, ever in the whole garden, ever. Um, Bluebird? Oh. Get in! But my kite's more interesting than Rosie's painting. Nothing's more interesting than my nest. I'll just pick the most interesting thing for the capsule. My car. <sighs> Not fair. If we choose small things that are important to us, everyone can put something in. OK, but hurry up so we can bury it. That's the fun bit. Small, but still turbocharged. One of my favourite buttons. That's my second best yo-yo. I made this bracelet. Bye, bracelet. Lovely idea, Holly. And I made this bear. <laughs> it's me. Feather. Bottle top. Good. Everyone's put something in. Except me. There's still room for your special thing. Oh, but I can't think of one, Holly. Um, what about a leaf? Leaves don't last very long, Raggles. Oh, I know. A twig. Thanks, Holly. But I don't think a twig is special enough. Oh, the people of the future won't find anything special from me. Um, can we dig the hole now? Oh, what was that? It's a box. Let's open it. Oh, oh, good. Something's fallen out. Look. Quick, catch that piece of paper. I've got it! 
Oops! Thanks, Bluebird. Well done, Manny. Oh, it's a photograph. A very, very old photograph. That looks like Oakley's Hill. But where's Oakley? Ahem. <coughs> May I have a look? Oh. It's Oakley. Look. Yes, that's me. When I was very young, many, many years ago. Oh, dear me, I'd forgotten all about that. Now I know what Oakley can put in the time capsule. Come on, you two. Make friends. Say cheese. <laughs> no, say Oakley. <laughs> Oakley! Look, Oakley. That's you years and years ago. And this is you now with all your friends. Let's put both photos in the time capsule. I've never been so proud in all my long years. Oh. Yes, you've grown from a skinny little tree to the biggest oak in the whole garden. <laughs> no, it's having all of you as my friends. That's why I'm so proud. It! <laughs> <laughs> Got you! <laughs> <laughs> I love my new camera. Smile, Ruggles. Ruggles, you've been looking at that book all morning. It's got pop up pages and everything. It's my best book. <laughs> I know you love it, Raggles, but I need you to look at the camera so that I can take your photograph. Cheese! Mm, not bad, but I look better from this side. <laughs> All right, Bluebird, one more. <laughs> Now your turn, Raggles. Oh, what's that you've got there, Raggles? Can I see? It's my favourite book. It's got a tree, a bird. That's it. Some flowers. Raggles. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hello, Rosie. I'm trying to find something to keep Little Bear busy today while I make a buzzberry pie. What does Little Bear want to do? Oh, something different. He's played with all the toys at home. It pops up and everything. <gasps> Me! <laughs> I think Little Bear likes your book, Raggles. Maybe you could lend it to him, Raggles. Lend it? Well, I suppose so. Just for a little bit. Of course. But Little Bear might break it. I'm sure they'll look after it. <laughs> promise you'll be nice to it. We promise. Now, what do you say, Little Bear? Uh, thank you. We'll bring it back this afternoon so that you've got it to read in bed. That was really nice of you, Raggles. Oh, it's safe with Big Bear, and you'll have it back by tonight. Big Bear promised. I know, but, well, it's easy for you. It's not your precious thing. You're right, Raggles. How about I lend you my new camera? But that's your precious thing. And I trust you to look after it. Come on, we can take pictures of everyone. <sighs> the key. Remember, Little Bear, this is Raggles' most special thing, so be very careful. That's right. <laughs> Do 
Look, gently, little bear. We promise to look after it, remember? Ready, Fosberry Pie time. <laughs> pie! Let's put Raggles' book somewhere safe. We don't want to get Bosbury juice on it. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, get what? Uh, 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 oh, oh, no! Uh oh. <gasps> what have I done? Raggles! Oh, wait! Uh, uh, maybe it'll wipe clean. Whoosh! Good idea. Cooey! Only me, Big Bear. Doing some washing. Book! Exactly why I'm here. Raggles is worried about his book, so Oakley suggested I fly over and check it's okay. It is okay. Um, I dropped it in the pie outside. You washed it? I think the juice is coming off. Well, so are the pictures. Look, they've gone all blurry. Uh, floppy. Oh, what am I going to tell Raggles? I promised I'd look after his book. Fear not. I'll magic it better. Close your eyes. By the power in my wings, make this book whole again! Oops. It's funny. My magic usually does the trick. Hmm. I'll go and get Rosie. She'll know what to do. Raggles will never talk to me again. What's happened? Is Raggles' book all right? Did Little Bear tear the pages? Not Little Bear, me. <gasps> I dropped it in the Bosbury pie. Splat! I tried to wash it, but the pages have gone all blurry. <gasps> Poor Raggles. He's going to be really sad. It does still pop up. But what's the use of a book without pictures? Pictures! That's it! Don't worry, Big Bear. I've got an idea. You, you have? have? Bluebird, can you keep Raggles busy for a little while longer? There! I can be his photographic model! <laughs> we need glue and scissors. You cut out, Big Bear. Me and Little Bear will do the sticking. <laughs> I know. Hide and seek. Oh, we've already played that five times. Where's Rosie? Oh, I could do some more magic. No! no. I want my book back. Raggles! Rosie! Where have you been? We've been busy. And we've got your book, but... Accident! What sort of accident? We did our best to mend it. But we had to make some changes. Whoa! That's me and Holly. Oh, and look at me. Don't I look great? <laughs> There's me kicking my ball. And that's me again. What do you think, Raggles? It's not the same. <sighs> It's even better. I've got my book back and it's got all my friends in it. So I can have you with me all the time. Thanks, Big Bear. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without Rosie. Rosie! Hey, why aren't I in that one? <laughs>